Let's watch Nancy Pelosi on The View, which is going to be wall-to-wall lies. I'm John Mike Keen. <laughs> Check this out. You have uh, a very long uh, relationship, friendship with President Biden. You all have worked together for decades. The Mesozoic age. I remember the Mesozoic Congress when you and Biden first won. You've been decades. personal friends. He awarded you the Medal of Freedom earlier this year. There is a perception among some that there's a lot of hurt feelings because you played an outsized role in him stepping down, which was a very selfless, but a very hard thing for him to do. How can Nancy Pelosi play a role in him stepping down? Did he step down or not? Did she make him do it or not? Did she threaten him or not? They, they're they trying to say it without saying it because they will not pin her down on it. Nancy Pelosi, what did you do? Did you not threaten that you would take him out if he did not step down? I've heard that Jill Biden and her team, that there's people close to the Biden team that are upset at you. Now, why would Jill Biden be mad at her? You know, of course, what, 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 what kind of employment does Jill Biden have besides someone who could decorate uh, seat cushions and curtains with her dress? Have you spoken to him and, and how do you respond yeah. to that? No, but uh, I, uh, my point was we need a better campaign. As I said, a decision to win. See, I didn't realize we made a decision to win before. We forgot that part. And now Nancy Pelosi goes, we needed a better campaign, you know, where we decided to win because you were going with Joe Biden before and your the decision was not to win. Oh, see, the problem was the decision was to follow how people voted what the elector said, and they picked Joe Biden. It's not up to you, Nancy Pelosi, to decide what the strategy is going to be or not. It's This is where you vote and you pick a candidate, and they picked Joe Biden. Mm -hmm. I didn't see us on a path to victory. So it wasn't about him not running. It's just, if this is mm -hmm. the case, we have to run in a different way. I didn't see him on a path to victory. I, me, Nancy Pelosi, all by myself, reversed everyone's vote. The people that voted for him and wanted Joe Biden, and I, I didn't see a path to victory, so I got rid of him. The president made his decision, patriotic, selfless, the most consequential president of modern times. This yeah. has been a great president. Uh, pump him full of sugar, Nancy. Pump him up. The most consequential, the greatest, but not so great that we could run him. This guy's so consequential and awesome that we got rid of him. We wouldn't let him run. That's how awesome he is. There's no greater insult. Your actions show what you really think of him. He's a disaster. We had to pull him. We could we could have run a rotting pumpkin and it would have gotten more votes than that guy. Of the United States, thank you for asking. Uh, the decision that he made was one that has... Well, you see the result of it. It's going to preserve, <laughs> when we win, it's going to preserve his legacy. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's about his legacy. No, his legacy is uh, is a loser. His legacy is so decrepit and shameful that you got, even though he won a primary election, you removed him. That's his legacy. That you guys lied so bad about his health for four years. You snowed the public, deceived the public, conspired against the public. You did that. That's the legacy. Yeah. The Joe yeah. Biden legacy. And already people are so excited about yeah. that. Oh, yeah. And they're even more excited about what you're doing with Kamala Harris, the, the, the smartest vice president ever. Kamala Harris, who went from a disaster, uh, not the best person for Joe Biden to pick to now, the best, the number one, we're all together on her. The genius, the smartest woman ever. She is like the uh, a, a walking calculator of, G, of genius smarts. Stephen Hawking, get out of the wheelchair. She's stepping inside and taking over the controls. She has a quantum string theory book that she's writing. It's Kamala Harris, the smartest ever. And Kamala won't, the people say, well, should she stick with that? No, she'll spring from that. Yeah. That mm -hmm. gave her a, a, a big Boost. launch. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it, it isn't that we just say, this is what we've done, so should we should be a relaxed. Nobody votes for you for what you have done. Yeah. They vote for you for what you're going to do. What the hell does all this even mean? 
So what's the difference? This is word salad. It only works on the view hosts and the view audience because, well, if you, if you believe this stuff. And what she's going to do is build, build on that. You know, Kamala has not articulated any of her platform. Her platform still remains a mystery. It's just a giant kludge of well-wishing, blah, blah, blah. It's like no one even cares what she says. No one believes her, what she says about her platform. That's not why she's tied with Trump. I think um, initially, though, you you wanted an open process. You don't um, want uh, not you didn't endorse Kamala. You wanted an open process, despite knowing her very well from San Francisco. Do you think now when you look back on it, that it was, was a mistake? It wasn't open progress. No, it wasn't open. Anybody could have gotten in. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, anybody. That's Anna Navarro. I love this. She goes, would you rather have had an open process? And then Nancy Pelosi goes, oh, no, it was an open process. No, it wasn't. Why did she ask the question? Why are you calling Ann Navarro, our gal Ann, a liar when she said it wasn't an open process? Why would you accuse her like that, Nancy Pelosi, of falsehoods? She got in and she won and a president of the United States had endorsed her, who was very respected, so that meant a lot. But people don't understand. Other people could have gotten in. Yeah, anybody could have. Sure, RFK could have. Sure, Bernie Sanders could have run, Elizabeth Warren, Hillary Clinton. No, no. They had 24 hours behind the scenes, and she had tied up, most important, the donor money. She just locked she got up, the delegates. politically astute, as I said to you before. She works the phone. So <laughs> I, I, I was one of the earlier endorsers of any of the of the leaders right within 24 hours. And yesterday, hours. you and a bunch of Italian-Americans did paisans for Kamala. And we had the paisans for Kamala. And with that... <laughs> okay, that move is so cringe, I'm going to make you watch it in slow motion again. It's just bizarre and scary. And on that happy note, this lady is irrelevant. I think it's obvious to at least us that she's lying. I hope more members of The View's audience know that she's lying. And maybe they'll just stop watching The View overall. This is, uh, this is, a, this is psycho levels of gaslighting. I'm John Mike Keene.